And when you went to your first Sun Ra concert in the early 80s in Wisconsin, I, I read somewhere that people would leave based on it was just a lot for them. And Sun Ra didn't really see that as like a bad thing. And they would say, mm -hmm. okay, now that we got these people out of there, let's, let's, let's work with the people who we got. And, and I got the impression from you that you were one of the people who stayed based on those sounds and those connections, that there was something there that, 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 that was curious to you. I'll be honest with you now, I, I talk in, in my book, The Execution of Sun Ra, very frankly about the fact that the first time, the very first time that I went to a Sun Ra concert, there was so much diversity of genre, tone, style, performance elements, that even coming from a background where I had already been to, can I say dozens of P-Funk shows where they had landed spaceships on stage and Dr. Funkenstein and you know giant skulls smoking spliffs. It wasn't like I was somebody that was inexperienced with extreme musical culture. And yet I, I walked, just walked out like this, shaking my head and going, well, really, what was that? I don't get it. And the thing that I didn't get, which was Sun Ra's gift, was his ability to interleave seamlessly, seamlessly. Music that sounded like it had been dragged out of a science fiction soundtrack with music that sounded like it had been dragged out of my parents' memories. Jimmy Lunsford, Fletcher Henderson, Duke Ellington, stuff that I recognized, and stuff that legitimately sounded like it had been crafted on the other side of the moon. And he put it in the same set. He didn't give you, okay, well now I'm gonna experiment, I hope this is okay. He just went from what he went wherever he wanted to go and he dragged you, you know, yeah. and you, you got to deal with the G forces as he drags you along through all this wealth, this wealth of sonic experience. But you, know? you didn't leave, though. Um, I walked out of there and I was like, OK, I'm going to take a minute and figure this out. And okay. it was a minute. It really was before I came back and was like, and then I was hooked. OK, then I was. Um, Oh, it's, it, it, you know, it almost like it's like, you know, when you hear addicts recounting how they lived, it's like, man, there wasn't anything more important on earth than a Sun Rock concert. And if I had, you know, I wasn't a wealthy person. If I had the means to get there, I went. If I had the means to, you know, to nothing else, I, I got to be there. 